Hello students, I welcome you in today's session of physics and to, in today's class I am going to present you reflection of light at a plane interface, total internal reflection which is taken place in optical fiber. This is your chapter number 15 of your optics and this is the first lecture so uh, we get started here. As you can see here, the first one we are going to uh, discuss here, refraction of light at the plane interface. Fine. So you can see the topic. So light travels in a straight line in a homogeneous medium. I hope you know what is homogeneous and heterogeneous. Medium of the same type is known as homogeneous medium. Or you can also say that the light travel in the same medium. But whenever ray passes from one transparent medium to another, it deviates from its original path at the interface of the two media. In the second medium, the ray either bend towards the normal or you can also say that it or it can bend away from the normal. This is the simple basic law of refraction you have I think you had already studied in your previous classes. Fine. So that is the thing we have to discuss here. So as you can see here, this is written here, the bending of light ray, this is the definition of refraction of light, clear? So the bending of light ray from its path in passing from one medium to another medium is known as reflection, uh, sorry, refraction of light, fine? If the refracted ray bent towards the normal, here you can see this is the two diagrams, first one is uh, towards the normal and the, here you can see the B1 is away from the normal. So that is the thing written here. If the refracted ray bent towards the normal relative to the incident ray, then the second medium is said to be what? Denser medium. Fine. There are the two mediums I hope you know very well. One, uh, one is the denser and the other one is the rarer medium. So here it is written that if the refracted ray, fine bent towards the normal relative to the incident ray, then the second medium is said to be denser medium. Uh, I hope you understand what I am trying to say here. Uh, suppose the light ray coming from the air, clear? So the light which is coming from air is known as incident light and at a certain point where it incident is known as the point of incident and after incidence when the light ray refracted, it is called the refracted ray. So here you can see in the figure A and B are the two figures given here which are showing the position of refraction in which the light is bending away from the normal and towards the normal. But if the refracted ray bend away from the normal then the second medium is said to be rarer medium. Here you can see that if the light ray bends away from the normal then we can call him the second is the rarer medium and the first one is your denser medium. I hope it is clear. Now the refraction of light takes place according to the following two laws known as the laws of refraction. You have already uh, know the laws of refraction so that is the, the same thing is written here. There are the two laws of refraction and what are the laws? This is the first one. Let us discuss the incident ray, the refracted ray and the normal to the interface at the incident point all like in the same plane. This is your first law of refraction. In previous classes you have already familiar with this law, clear? Means the incident ray, the light which is coming from the uh, air or any source is called the incident ray. The refracted ray, the uh, incident ray after striking a certain point either bends towards the normal or away from the normal that is the ray called the refracted ray and the normal to the interface. Here you can see in the figure number 1, this is your incident ray, it is coming from the air or, or any medium you can ask, uh, say that. At a certain point, here you can see this is the point, clear? And after changing the medium, the ray went towards the normal, here you can see this is the refracted ray and it bends towards the normal, this is the normal. So here the point is called the point of incidence, clear? So this is your first law. Now we will move to this uh, refraction second law, what is saying here? For any two media, media means it is the plural form of medium and for light of given color which uh, wavelength, the ratio of angle of the incidence to the sign of the angle of refraction is a constant. This is the important point here, this is also known as the Isnell's law, clear? 
there it is written that for any two media and for any given color wavelength the ratio of sine of the angle of incidence and the sine of the angle of refraction is a constant clear so here you can see that the angle of incidence is how much i taken here and the angle of refraction is taken here r so the ratio according to the definition sin i by sin r clear is equals to the constant means the refracting of uh, index of the second medium with respect to the first medium here you can see 1 and 2 where n is the refractive index so the refractive index of the first medium with respect to the second medium or you can say refracting of second medium with respect to the first medium it is a constant term this is the def uh, formula clear fine so this is called the Snell's law and the constant is called the refractive index of the second medium with respect to the first medium that is the thing i am telling you this is the above formula is called the snell's law clear now here it is written that if the first medium be represented by one fine and the second medium is represented by two clear so how will we write the refractive index of the medium the refractive index of the medium two with respect to the first is denoted by 1 and 2 here you can see that 1 and 2 representing the refractive index of the second medium with respect to the first medium clear okay now we will move to uh, next uh, thing here sin i by sin r equals to 1 and 2 this is the thing we have already discussed this is the formula of Snell's law clear now if light is passing from air to glass suppose air is your rarer medium and glass is your denser medium in that case what will happen here sin i by sin r is equals to a and g what does it mean it means that the ratio uh, refractive index of glass with respect to the air so sin i by sin r the ratio of sin i by sin r equals to a and g i hope it is understand so where a and g is the refractive index of glass related to air now if there is a condition given here if the angle of incidence is zero fine then in that case what will happen refractive angle that is r is equals to also zero because as you know very well sin r is equals to sin i by i and 2 from the above relations you can also write this thing that is light ray falling normally to the interface pass to the second medium and debited this is the most important thing uh, may be asked in your examination in what cases the light ray <coughs> go and deviated from one medium to another medium so you have to know this concept very well i hope it is clear now we will move to what is absolute refractive index here you can see that this is the absolute refractive index so refractive index of any medium with respect to vacuum clear is called absolute refractive index fine so if we consider the refractive index of any medium with respect to vacuum then it is known as the absolute refractive index so we can write here n is the refractive index here you can see that n is your refractive index so velocity of light in vacuum upon velocity of light in the medium is equals to c by v because c you know variables is the velocity of light which is equals to 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second and v is the velocity of light in the medium fine I hope uh, it is clear for you now we will move to the next topic this is uh, our refractive index for medium change the wavelength of light means how our refractive index changes when we change the light or if we the wavelength of the light changes so here you can see refractive index of a medium depends on the wavelength of light by which relation we can show that here you can see this is the relation between the refractive index and the wavelength of light here clear n is equals to a plus b by lambda square where lambda is your wavelength fine and a and b what are uh, given uh, here a and b are considered to be a constant so this relation is called the cauchy formula so fine so in examination if it comes here you have to know the very well concept that is what is cauchy formula so cauchy formula gives the relation between the refractive index and the wavelength so n is equals to a plus b by lambda square now as you can see here there is a relation given here if lambda r is greater than lambda v so in that case n v is greater than n r fine now what is the cause of refraction this is the uh, concept we have to discuss here what are the causes of refraction so here you can see that refraction of light occur 
because the speed of light is different in different media means if the light ray travel in air and the light travel in glass then in that cases the speed of light in both the cases is different fine so the bending of refraction of light takes place due to the change in the speed of light as it passes from one medium to another fine the bending bending means light ka mud jana so here you can see that the bending of light refraction takes place due to the change in the speed of light as it passes from one medium to the another medium <coughs> greater is the change in the speed of light as it passes from one medium to another more is the bending due to refraction so according to the snell's law if the incident and the refracted angle i are we considered here i and r respectively then in that case what will be happen i and 2 equals to sin i by sin r and their respective velocity with respect to the mediums so we can write the formula like this sin i by sin r equals to v1 by v2 where v1 and v2 are the speeds of a light ray in the first and the second media respectively now there are the certain uh, relations they establish here so the first one from the above relation we notes the following results fine so what the first uh, is saying here the first one is if v1 is greater than v2 means if the velocity of the first med in first medium light is greater than the velocity of light in the second medium then what will happen the refractive index of the second medium with respect to the first is greater than 1 and sin i by is equal is greater than sin r means the angle of incidence is greater than the angle of refraction that is angle i is greater than angle r that is refracted ray bends towards the normal or we may say that it's refracted from rarer to denser medium clear so you know very well in what cases the light ray bends towards the normal and in what cases the light ray bend away from the normal so here are the two cases given here now we will move to the second one if v1 is less than v2 what does it mean if the velocity of uh, light in the first medium is smaller as compared to the second medium then in that cases the refractive index of the second medium with respect to the first is less than 1 or you can write angle of incidence is less than the refracted angle then what will happen here refracted ray bends away from the normal clear so ray is refracted from denser to rarer medium i hope it is uh, clear for you now you can see here physical significance of refractive index <coughs> what are the phys physical significance of refractive index this is we have to discuss here so refractive index of a medium gives the following information what the information here you can see this is the first one the value of refractive index give the information about the direction of bending of the refracted ray that is towards the normal or away from the normal fine now the second one is it gives the ratio of the speed of light in vacuum to that in the given medium for example refractive index of glass is 3 by 2 it means that the speed of light is 2/3 the speed of light in vacuum so here you can see that speed of light in vacuum in a medium is equals to how much v equals to c by n where n is the refractive index is the velocity and c is the speed of light so we can find out the relation with the refractive index is n is equals to c by v now since the frequency so sorry v is not the uh, speed it is a frequency c equals to uh, nu lambda you know very well so since the frequency nu remains unchanged when the light ray passes from one medium to another therefore we can write the relation like this n is equals to lambda a into v, nu lambda m into nu is equals to lambda a by lambda m when the light passes where lambda are the uh, wavelengths of the light from different in different different medium so when light passes from air to glass its wavelength decreases you have to know the variable what will happen if the light ray passes from air to glass then what effect over the light its wavelength decreases fine i hope you know the uh, concept very well now we will discuss about the our next topic which is the reversibility of light clear you can see here this is the topic we have to discuss reversibility of light so what is the reversibility of light when a light ray after suffering any number of reflection and refraction has its final path reverse it travels back along its entire initial path this is the reversibility rule you can see here it is given here 
this is called the principle of reversibility and you can see the figure also here given here figure number 2. So, when a light ray after suffering any number of refraction means of light ray uh, coming from one medium and suffer refraction and refractions then what will happen as its final path reverse it travels back along its entire initial path then the light ray after refraction and refraction goes back to the initial path or you can also say that the light ray goes back into the medium or retrace its path in which di direction from which direction it is coming from. I hope it is clear. Now in the figure number 2 you can see here this is the figure number 2 OA is your incident ray in a medium 1 and AB is the refracted ray in the medium 2 clear. So, you know very well as we discussed earlier Snell's law the refractive index of medium 2 relative to the first is given by how much 1 and 2 is equals to sin i by sin r where i and r are the angle of incidence and refraction respectively. Suppose the ray AB is refracted by, by a plane mirror here you can see we introduce a plane mirror over the point B here. Now what will happen BA is the incident ray and OA is the refracted ray corresponding to I is the angle of incidence and R is the angle of refraction. So we again use here a Snell's law the refractive index of medium 1 with respect to the medium 2 is given by 2N1 is equals to sin R upon sin I. Now you can see here this is our equation number 1 and this is the equation number 2. We multiply both the equation and finally we get the relation is how much 1 and 2 is equals to 1 upon 2 and 1 means the refractive index is reciprocal into the second medium. This is the thing we are have to discuss in the, <coughs> the definition. Now the refractive index of the medium 2 relative to the first one is equal to the reciprocal of the refractive index of the medium uh, 1 relative to the medium 2. This is the thing we have discussed in our definition. So for example the refractive index of the glass relative to air is 3 by 2. So the refractive index of air relative to glass is how much 2 by 3 that is you have to reciprocal it. Similarly refractive index of water with respect to air is 4 by 3 then refractive index of air with respect to water is 3 by 4 W stand for water. So that is all uh, for today's class student. I hope you know understand it what I taught you. In next class we will discuss the remaining topics for till that proper do study. Thank you very much. Thank you.